Across the country, it's become an activity on the rise. Taking over streets, blocking intersections, spinning donuts, and racing down roads and interstates. It's known as street racing and is often captured on videos that go viral. It took root during the pandemic when roads normally clogged with commuters suddenly empty. Opening the door to a surge in chaos on our streets was sometimes deadly consequences. What did I do wrong as a mom? Was I too strict? Ask Lily Trujillo about street racing and a December night in Los Angeles she will not forget. I dropped her off. I saw her standing by the door. I got teary eyed for no reason when I saw her. But little did I know that was the last time I was going to ever see her alive. Lily's daughter, Valentina, was a passenger in a friend's car when the driver was challenged to a race. He took off going over 80 miles an hour, crashed against an SUV. If he didn't race, she would be alive walking this earth with me. And that's when I said, a street racing, it's what killed her. Today, many more communities are grappling with this potentially deadly problem. The insurance tracker, known as Insurify, says rates of incidents per capita have exploded in states like North Dakota, Idaho, and Wisconsin, with Wyoming being the number one state for street racing in 2022. Virginia and Oregon also landed in the top 10. Worse yet, Spotlight on America discovered there is only a patchwork of laws across the country that criminalize this dangerous activity. According to Insurify, just in the 10 states they examined, the penalties for street racing range from just a $20 fine to a year of jail time. The city of Tacoma, Washington took matters into its own hands this year after the police department was inundated with calls and complaints, making it an epicenter of the street racing problem in America. They just kept going and going for hours and hours. Sarah Rumbaugh witnessed it herself after an evening stroll. It really hit my heart that, you know, I, you have no control over where you're living. This is what's happening in your neighborhood. My colleagues, As a Tacoma City Council member, I ask for my council colleagues' support in adopting She this urged her colleagues to take action, and they quickly approved a city ordinance this spring to criminalize racing attendance. And what does that do? Does it makes it illegal to be a spectator at one of these um, events. So is there any evidence that it's done anything to deter street racing? We don't have street racing anymore. It has worked. A Spotlight on America examination of local laws shows only a handful of other places have banned spectating. In Utah, San Jose, California, and Fort Worth, Texas. As more laws get on the books, Lily Trujillo is focused on educating young people about the danger through speaking at schools and meeting with teenagers. As part of her organization, Street Racing Kills. You want to see your best friend dead right next to you? Have that for the rest of your life? For Spotlight on America, I'm Chris Daniels.